Hey guys, uh, what's going on? And just back again for another video. I'm sorry if I seem kind of dazed throughout this. I'm pretty tired right now. I've been up for around 24 hours, and yeah, I don't know why I haven't been able to fall asleep. So just bear with me for the video if I sound sort of groggy or if I lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, it's 4:20 today. Yeah. But um, yeah, anyway, today I know this video was going to be the um, the We Two Project Cafe thing that I promised a certain person. He knows who I'm talking to. That video is coming. It's coming probably tomorrow because I don't want to upload too much on too many days. I just uploaded that uh, Storm Sing two part thing. And Storm Sing, buddy, if you get anything from that video, if you only get one thing at all, put your fans over the dollar sign. That's just the best thing I could do. You're treating YouTube like a business, and YouTube is not a business. YouTube is a way for people to have fun. They can have hobbies. You know, that's what YouTube's for. It's not about forcing them to go to a site. You're essentially scamming your fans by wanting them to go to the site so that you can make some money, man. And I don't... That's pretty jacked up. So, that's all I want to say on Stormsing. If I do have to say something else on Stormsing, like if he ever replies, I'll probably do it on Ustream later. But uh, for now, we're going to be doing a Blu-ray... DVD anime update. Oh, it sounded weird. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys the Blu-rays and DVDs that I got in the past couple of uh, weeks, leading towards a month. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it with the anime first. Um, of course, you guys know me and my anime. Whenever there's a deal on Amazon, I just... My bank account turns to zero, like legit. So these were on sale for ridiculously low prices, and if nobody picks these up, Shame on you, legit, especially if you're trying to get into this series, and that is, of course, One Piece. So, in the past, like, at least a month, I've gotten, like, what, at least two voyages completed. So, right here, we have One Piece Season 2, set third voyage. We have One Piece Season 2, fourth voyage, which I'm currently watching right now. I, I'm about to start Disc 2. And we have One Piece Season 2, fifth voyage, which is still in the packaging. So, um, I have all the way up to episodes 116, English dubbed and uncut, and I'm really enjoying One Piece, guys. Like, I know I'm sounding so monotone, like, oh god, you sound like you don't like it, but I really enjoy One Piece. I think it's a really hilarious series, the character development is really good, and I really finally understand why people enjoy it so much, and I'm not even into the, uh, later arcs, where everybody talks so much about how great One Piece is, like the Impel Down, or whatever saga, and, you know, when the other crew members, like Frankie and, um, uh, the 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 skull afro guy I forgot his name he plays the music um so I got more of One Piece and I'm really looking forward to collecting more and hopefully Funimation does continue to dub it because if they don't then I'll I don't know what I'll do <laughs> probably resort towards the watching it on One Piece official um and the next anime this is the last anime I got was an anime series that Really, if you didn't watch it in the 90s, everyone says you missed out. It's one of those defining anime. When people think of anime, like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, um, Inuyasha, whatever, people always mention this one. And I never got a chance to watch it in the, in the not the 90s. I think it was out in the early 2000s when it came to States. So, you guys already saw this on Ustream. It's on Blu-ray. It's a four-part series, four-part movie series, and that is the rebuild of Evangelion 1.1 You Are Not Alone. Yeah, 1.1, you are not alone. Um, essentially what this is, is the creator of Evangelion, or at least the anime director, he pulled to George Lucas, and he felt that Evangelion, at the time, was not good. Like, he felt the technology wasn't there so he could properly convey his series. And honestly, when people say things like that, I get pretty pissed off because I think you have to work with what you have at the time and then make it better. I don't see how George Lucas putting out a, n another edition of Star Wars every 16 minutes is good because that's kind of ruining the thing that we like to watch when we were, you know, kids. You know, it was ma it was an amazing movie for the time. When you put it out with the new special effects, now it's kind of weird to see. And also all those remixes and re-edits he's done to the plot and to fit with the damn prequels or whatever. Um, but Evangelion, I watched this movie. It's on Blu-ray. And overall, I'm kind of mixed on it, you know, I don't see what the hype is towards the movie, I mean, people say that the first movie is not good, they say that the second one, the third one, which comprise later parts of the anime, are better, so I'm going to give those a try, because um, 2.22 just came out a couple of weeks ago, and I'll definitely give it a shot, and one thing I really like about this uh, design is that it's very holographic, well it's not holographic, yeah it is holographic, 
Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. I like the design. And on the inside, you get like a nice little uh, flip-out art book display. So definitely a good uh, product by Funimation. Um, and now we're going to move on to Blu-rays. And all of these Blu-rays, well, most of these Blu-rays for the most part, I got from being a member of the Disney Blu-ray Movie Club. Essentially what happened was they sent me an... Um, uh, message through the mail. I know people still use mail nowadays, and asking if you want to join the club, you get cheap, cheap prices on Blu-rays, and everybody and their dog knows me. I would flip for a cheap Blu-ray, so I signed up for the club. And the thing is, if you signed up through the website instead of sending the mail-in order, you can get <clears throat> an extra two Blu-rays for free, for free, and also you can get two more Blu-rays at discounted prices. So I got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven Blu-rays for the price that it would cost for two, and that's twenty-one dollars total. And all I have to do is purchase two more Blu-rays from Disney's site in the next two years for like twenty-five dollars, which is the average price for a Blu-ray. So I'm like, okay, I already purchased one, so all I have to do is purchase one more Blu-ray from Disney's site, and I'll have paid them off. So uh, the first thing I want to start out with, which I am so glad that I have the entire trilogy for the first time is the Toy Story collection. And I have Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, and the beloved Toy Story 3 on Blu-ray. And um, I gotta mention, these look really good on Blu-ray, so if you really want to rewatch Toy Story, definitely give it a try with, uh, with these Blu-rays that they have out for them. It's really good. And Toy Story 3, I gotta mention, this... I don't know how they did it, guys. I really don't know how Pixar did it. Pixar literally broke the mold that every single film director has done. You guys know after after an extended period of time when they come out with like a sequel or a trilogy or something, it never lives fully lives up to the original, right? But somehow the guys at Toy Story at Pixar, they did it. They made it work. This movie appeals towards everyone and, and that it's not a broad explanation like oh it appeals to everyone. It really does appeal for everybody. It wasn't one of those kid movies where it's marketed towards kids. If anything, this movie was made for us. It was made for us people who grew up with Toy Story, you know? People nowadays could still enjoy it while this was made for us. It's one of the darkest animated children's movies I've ever seen. And it's just incredible. Like, by the end, I was legit crying. And I don't feel ashamed of that. If anybody's ashamed that they cried at their child childhood movie, grow some balls. Legit, grow some balls and cry, you know. But overall, it's a fantastic movie. If This is definitely my number one film. It, it's like competing with Scott Pilgrim, like, it's no joke, they're going back and forth every single time I watch it. But it's a great movie, it's an excellent ending for a wonderful trilogy, and I recommend everybody check it out. It's such a good movie. Um, and another, I got three more Pixar, since Pixar was the only thing I was really interested on the website. Uh, the first one I got was, uh, the next one I got was uh, Bugs Life on Blu-ray, and I really gotta say, I forgot how fun, ooh, holographic, I forgot how funny this movie really was. <laughs> This is really one of the black sheet Pixar movies, like, um, Cars, but because after Toy Story, nobody thought that Pixar could follow up with that, with this Bugs Life movie, and they did, to the most part. Um, it's pretty dark. It is really dark for a Pixar movie. It's, it's one of the darkest ones, especially with, like, Hopper and all that stuff. It's pretty damn dark. So, uh, you should show this to your kids, maybe. I don't know. But definitely a great movie, and on Blu-ray, it does look pretty spectacular. Uh, the next one is probably my second favorite Pixar film of all time for, and it's probably a lot of people's. It just got announced that they're doing a sequel for this, which I'll explain on later, Monsters Frickin' Inc. This movie was amazing. Like, if Toy Story wasn't there, this would be Pixar's best film because it has all the makings for a good film. You know, great character development. It's a great concept, exploring the monsters in the closet. Like, that's good. I like that idea. And it's funny, you know, it's funny. It's, you get a lot of good laughs out of it. The voice acting is great. John Goodman and uh, Billy Crystal Ball. That was a fairly odd parent spoof. Sorry, Billy Crystal. Um, so, yeah, and this is the super deluxe Blu-ray DVD digital copy um, combo back. So it's a pretty big uh, box. Like, if you compare it to a normal one, like this one, it's pretty big, pretty hefty. But, uh, yeah, Monsters, Inc. Um, and the last Pixar film I got that's without a slipcase is Wally, -E. and I have no input on this movie, guys, because I sadly haven't seen it yet. I'm kind of scared to watch it because a lot of people have said it's the 
one of the best Pixar movies. Other people have said it's they don't like the minimalistic approach for the first, I believe it was half hour or hour of the movie, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot. I give anything Pixar does a shot because Pixar, they are beast, you know? So Wally. -E, once this is done, I'll tell you guys, and I love how all Pixar stuff have, has this uh, holographic uh, display. It's, it's pretty appealing to the eye. And the last movie that I got that I didn't even know Disney licensed this, but then I realized that it was put out by uh, Miramax, uh, and I realized that Disney owns Miramax, so it makes sense. And that is, in my opinion, one of the best comic book movies of all time, Sin City. This is basically, I think this is one of Robert Rodriguez's best films that he's ever done. It's just that good, you guys. I, it, it, literally, this is the comic book. It's like Watchmen. It's 100% like Watchmen as far as it keeps to the book. But what I like about this is that it, oh man, I don't know how to explain this. It's just, in my opinion, it's better than Watchmen. And I don't know why, I don't know how, I'll have to explain it someday, but... Sin City, if you're interested in comic book movies, if you're interested in film noir stuff like crime scenes and stuff, you'll you'll get a kick out of this. I mean, like, watch this and then go play L.A. Noir when it comes out, and I think you'll appreciate this. And the last movie, which I just picked up from my job, I didn't even know my job sold Blu-rays. Like, I just realized, I'm like, we sell Blu-ray movies? So, yeah, it just recently came out, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I had to pick this up. It was only 20 bucks. And it comes with a DVD and digital copy. Overall, my stances on this movie, I think it's 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 how I felt about Order of the Phoenix. I definitely think it's better than Half Blood Prince, but it's just somewhere between Order of the Phoenix and Half Blood Prince as far as like good. You know, there's just always something missing from it. And I'm pretty sad. It's pretty sad that they cut out a lot of content in this movie. Like it's ridiculous. Like there was no need for them to cut out the beginning scene of the book with Harry and saying his, his goodbyes to the Dursleys. I think that was the, one of the most... Crap! I forgot what I was going to say, but it was one of the better parts of the book, Deathly Hallows, because Harry and, and um, the Vernons reconciled... Harry and the Dursleys reconciled about all this stuff, you know. Essentially, he didn't say, he's like, take care of yourself. In this movie, it just made it sound like they're leaving him, you know. It, maybe they did it on the deleted scenes. I, I can't be forced to watch the deleted scenes, but... Overall, it's a decent Harry Potter movie. It's not the best. It still doesn't live up to the best. Like, in my opinion, the best are Chamber of Secrets, Goblet of Fire, and um, Prison of Azkaban. But it's still decent. And hopefully when they come out with part two, they'll do a more better job of keeping true to the source. So any of you guys, those were my Blu-ray and anime DVD updates. So uh, I'm sorry if this sounded kind of monotone. And I'm sorry you dragged on for like 13 minutes. But yeah. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm Ajia signing out, and uh, yeah, happy 420, people. Peace.